Hello, 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 and welcome to the Southern Belle NOLA channel. I'm your hostess, Southern Belle, and welcome, welcome, welcome to another Sunday premiere where everything, and I do mean everything, is just one dollar, one little dollar. Who else is selling stuff for one dollar? Even stores can't sell stuff for one dollar. You know some of those dollar stores are going up to now a dollar fifty. So with tax, that's more like a dollar sixty-five. So I hope rather than paying those prices as well as paying the price to fill your car to drive all the way there to exhaust yourself walking aisle after aisle after aisle standing in long lines that you'll just shop with me from the comfort of home because here items are still going to be one dollar on sundays and if for some reason i run out of the item you want um send me a note Sometimes I can reorder, sometimes I can get it in, and if I can, I will order it. If I can get it back in, I will give you first opportunity for it. There are always going to be some one and done things that there is no chance I'm ever going to find. Last week, I had a mandala item and I had five of y'all that wrote to me after it was a pass and I felt so bad that there was so much interest in something I wasn't 100% sure what it even was and yet there was only one and I will never be able to get it back again. But y'all make sure and not only tune in for the Sunday premieres, but I have premieres during the week. This past Thursday, I had a premiere of hair accessories. But if you go to my Buy It Now playlist of videos, you will see everything from keychains to garden flags to puzzles to much, much, much more. And they are still available. Um, unless put in the sold out list. I do pin a sold out list to the top of every chat. So make sure and give me a thumbs up on this video so that we can get started and tune in for my auctions on Friday and Saturday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, Monday and Tuesday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, and Fridays are $5 Fridays, and Tuesdays are Viewer's Choice. So if you haven't already voted on the Viewer's Choice poll, make sure you go to my community page and vote, vote, vote. That way, the theme is something that you want to buy. Well, without further ado, let's get started. I finished off that rack last week. So far, if you've missed my Sunday premieres, I've done four. This is my fifth Sunday premiere, and yes, there are still items available from the first, second, third, and fourth. So, we're going to start this uh, set of drawers. This set of drawers actually has five in it, although I don't know if we'll get to all five drawers in this video. Let's just see how it is. First, I've got a two-pack of sponges. These are those white sponges. They are not a particular name brand, but they work as great as the name brand, which I'm not going to name. I used to just think these were for taking marks off of sneakers, and then in desperation one day, I tried it on my bathtub. Got to tell y'all, I love, love, love baths, and I love bath products. But between all of the soaps, the scented soaps, the bath bombs, the um, bath crystals, I had a ring around my tub. Yes, it is a ring of shame, but these worked like a dream, and my ring of shame went down the drain. So, here is one. But I also have, let's see, two, three, four and five. So I've got five sets, and remember, you're getting a two-pack for the low price of one dollar. Y'all sit up there rather than cascade over. 
Let me see if I can push you back just a little bit so you'll stay there. Okay. Next. If I was smart, I would put some bigger stuff in the back. Let's see if I have anything else bigger before I start to get the layout stuff. Oh, these are a great cleaning item. I love them so much. I bought a case. So I have four in yellow and four in pink. First of all, these are squeezy. So if you just need a stress ball, <laughs> you can use it for that. But these have grooves. So I have been using these in cleaning the grooves around my window. Because you know when you start opening the windows, letting the breeze and the sunshine in, you realize that there are dust and there are cobwebs on both the inside and the outside. And these little grooves are great for getting around those. Um, the windows seem to have so many of these little grooves. Now, are these just for windows? No, no, no. I bet these would probably be great for vents in your house or um, like a little fan or heater or something. So I've got four in yellow. One, two, three, four, just in case your man does the cleaning and he doesn't like to use pink. But I think pink is great because you can see what you're actually getting off. So. And I had cobwebs outside. Okay. So those are all $1 each. Keep in mind, um, everything is $1 each unless otherwise stated. Okay. Next. Now that we're talking about windows, how about some window clings? Oh no, you can't see this. Let me see if I can find something to put behind it. Let me just pause the video a minute. Okay, hopefully you can see it now. These are gel clings. So they used to be called window clings, and then the companies realized you can put them on more than windows. You can put them on metal surfaces like fridges, freezers, um, dishwashers and many other things and not limited even to house windows but they're cute on car windows too so this is going to be just a dollar I wish I could show you all the larger size ones but those I would have to sell for more and this video is only for dollar items although in the future if y'all are interested Put in the comments if you would like to see a $2 video, if you'd like to see a $3 video, $4 video, $5 video, because if y'all are interested, I will make them. Brand new with tags, I've got this toothbrush holder. Great for travel or great if you just don't want it sitting out, put it in this, throw it in a drawer, and that way whatever else is in the drawer um, won't get to it. The lint bunnies won't get to it. So, toothbrush holder. Next. Now, this is some kind of acrylic or it may be melanine. Um, it may look gray. It's a light sky blue. Okay, next. Oh, here's a fun one. It's a ball. But it is covered in suction cups. So fun to play and then you can stick it on the car window. Fun to play with in the tub and then you can stick it on the side of the tub. All of these suction cups because after all there are more bath toys than just a rubber ducky. Okay, next I have this colored lip balm and it looks like a rose how pretty is that oh i should put a little container for the small stuff usually i start by putting a little container in for the small stuff and somehow i forgot to do that so I'm going to go back retroactively and put this little container in for the small stuff. Okay, next I've got some cute little keychains. If 
you have somebody who plays basketball, likes to watch basketball, and they are squishy. So not only are they a cute keychain, but they can be a stress ball. Stress ball. Okay, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Is that enough for a team? I forget how many people play basketball. Okay, next. I've got some napkins. Now, these do have a clearance tag because I bought them on clearance, but it's on the outside of the plastic, so when you open them up to use it, it's not going to be on your actual napkin. So if you have a fan of auto racing, here we go. Okay, here's something I'm going to have in multiples. I believe these girls are called LOL. And you will see they are just cute as a button and well accessorized. I've got three packages of these in case you're doing a little LOL party. And you're saying, but I need more than that to make an LOL party. Well, I have these table covers, which measure 54 by 84. And I have three of them, so they will go great with the napkins. I have temporary tattoos. Much to my surprise, the temporary tattoos have been selling out. Keep in mind, this is a package that has a whole bunch of sheets. It is not one sheet. <laughs> and they are running away trying to get to you. Um, and these apparently were from Easter. Sorry if that bothers anybody. Or that one may be St. Patrick's Day. Okay, so that's the next item. Okay, next for those people with cell phones. I don't know if you've ever had the problem where you try to plug in your cell phone to charge it and it falls. This is a little holder. It's got little brackets right here where you can install it next to your outlet. And then this way, when it's charging, you have a place to put it. So I've got one, two, and three of these. Drawer's starting to get full. Okay, next, I've got a cute little gizmo. Already, you can see it has a hole in case you want to make it into a keychain. Um, there is no keychain included. It's got a little slider, and I have to warn you, this is a package opener. So, but it automatically retracts, which is one of the things I like, because sometimes they will accidentally fall open. Sometimes they will stay in the outward position and you can get hurt, pets can get hurt, people can get hurt. So I love that this one, as soon as you take your hand off of it, automatically retracts for safety. So only have one. I'm going to put it back in this little sack to keep it. Okay, next. I don't know if anybody has thinning eyebrows or maybe you just purposely draw them in, but I've got a two pack of brushes. Let me see if I can show this against my hand. Oh, my hands look so bad. Um, so that you can see these are bristled angled brushes and the angled brushes are great for eyebrows because then you can draw them in in a way where they look more lifelike. So it's a two-pack of brushes. Okay, I've got a suave hand sanitizer. See if I can get you a close-up. That's its claim. I'm not going to say any of those words because YouTube often doesn't like those words. 
and it's not a little ounce size no 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 it's a big three ounce size you can see it next to my hand it's a big size okay i think this drawer is about full and we should start on another one Okay, here we go with drawer number two. If you haven't already clicked the thumbs up, what are you waiting for? It helps me ever so much. Also, make sure you are subscribed and that you turn the notification bell on so that you get notifications about my live auctions at 7 p.m. on Friday and Saturday, Monday and Tuesday, as well as my live premieres, which my $1 Sunday is... Um, a regular thing. I keep trying to find another day that works with your schedule and mine. So if you have a suggestion for a good day for another um, premiere, I keep debating Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. So here is a big package of lunch size napkins in case you're saying, wait, how do I know that they're lunch size and not cocktail size? Here's a cocktail size that's coming up, so you can see it. here's the size difference. So these, I believe, are Nemo and Dory, but I'm not really good with characters. When you don't have kids, it's hard to keep up. So I've got one, two, three. These don't have to be for a party. They could be for a cookout, barbecue, or just a night eaten in front of the TV, watching one of your favorite family shows. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These might even be cute for a luau or an under the sea kind of a theme. Okay, next in the cocktail size. I've got these cute little characters. Looks like a hippo and a, well, I'm not quite sure. But maybe y'all are. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven of those. Okay, as a one and done, I've got this cute one that says twins. I've also got this cute little dump truck one. It's a one and done. Okay, let's see what else we have. Oh, I probably shouldn't show these. They are for the wrong holiday so my apologies in advance but at a couple of auctions people have said you don't have to wait for halloween to show halloween items um a couple of people said they do halloween all year long um which is why i even had halloween in april instead of christmas in july as one of the three themes for this week's viewers choice auction and look at this little cutie pie. Let me put the little ones down here. And I've also got these two different plates. They are very similar, um, but they are different. This one has the actual skeleton. So if you want this one, say skeleton. And this one has the little kid with a pumpkin. Although somebody might just say both and want both of them. Well, from a scary um, Halloween decor on to um, a scary of a different type. Um, one of the real fears in life is when you get hit by the C word. And so my mother, bless her heart, had a best friend that passed away um, to breast cancer. So um, she was constantly donating to different charities. And every time she donated, she got uh, one of these free little bags. 
And these are not super high quality bags. They are not lined. You'll see these aren't lined. These were a freebie with donation, but they are cute. They will hold your items and um, they are just one buck. So uh, you can order by what they say. This one says, Cancer, pick the wrong girl. Now, obviously, if they were lined, I'd be selling these for like five bucks because these are super cute designs, in my opinion. They're just not lined. Um, I do want to let you know, too, they're a nice size. Here's my hand. You can see great for pens and pencils, cosmetics, etc. So here's the first one. Cancer picked the wrong girl. This one has a pretty high heel and says, Can't crush cancer. Here's the next one. This one uh, apparently was not stored completely flat, so I am so sorry that there are some wrinkles. Not going to try to iron it because I don't own an iron, and even if I did, I don't know how to iron, so I might put scorch marks, so I'm just not going to chance it. So if you buy it, you get it like this, and you can iron it. This one says, hope, love, and strength. Next, she believed she could, so she did. And look at those gorgeous little butterflies. This one says, love, hope, and cure. This one says, hope. And look how it's made of little hearts. Such cute designs. This one says, I'm a fighter. And once again, the uh, there's a heart in the center with the heartbeat on either side. These are just so beautifully designed. Once again, butterflies and hearts. I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor. Okay, sorry. Don't get me singing. Uh, in October, we wear pink. So if you're looking for one that doesn't specifically... Um, say anything about breast cancer and also look at the back of the truck those look like Noma hats to me in case there's any Noma fans in the audience this one says brave and strong oh here's a gnome this one says faith hope and courage and I am a person of faith and come from a family of faith Here's another October one. It says, in October, we wear pink. And I love that in October, even men who don't normally wear pink will wear pink to support their mothers, wives, sisters, um, and daughters. This one says, survivor. Once again, with a butterfly motif. Peace, love, and cure. This one says, no one fights alone. And look how there's a pretty little feather as part of the sash. And this one with the tree of life says, faith, hope, and love. And I should probably stack these a little bit better. Because if mother had stacked these better, some of these would not have gotten the little creases in it which I'm sure y'all can take out. Okay, let's see if I got these better now. But hopefully I won't be storing these much longer and these will be mailed out to y'all. Okay, let's see what we got next. Okay, next we're having some patriotic holidays coming up. This is a wooden star and it's covered in glitter. It'd be cute for your outside decorations. You gonna sit here for me? I 
wet. Let me get another little organizational basket to help make things sit upright. Okay, next, I'm going to have a few things from the local liquidator. I will sometimes buy mystery boxes, and I never know what's going to be in there, and sometimes I just don't know what the stuff is. I'm thinking this is a cleaning pad cover for some kind of floor cover. This is what the tag says, in case some of y'all have this brand or recognize it. So that will be an option. Next, I've got this cloth, and I know from the edges this is either for cleaning glasses or it's for cleaning silver or jewelry. There is no label. I make no promises. You can figure it out, but both the silver cleaning, jewelry cleaning, and eyeglass cleaning um, cloths are expensive, so hopefully I am saving somebody some money. Next, I've got a double outlet cover right here. Next, I think this is Winnie the Pooh, might be Mickey Mouse. I'm not going to open it up. I also believe it's a balloon according to the label. Once again, this was in a big, huge mystery box that I bought. And it is helping me to be able to do these $1 sales when I can get a group of items. Next, I've got this bath bomb. Now, you can tell somebody apparently sat something right here, but it is covered in plastic. It is still sealed. Uh, if this bothers you, don't buy it. But if it doesn't bother you since it's still sealed, there you go. Okay, next for those pink lovers, pretty in pink, here's a nice little outlet cover. For you crafters, I've got a big set, uh, set, roll, uh, tube, uh, maybe it's a scheme. Uh, I'm not really good with names and titles, but it's red. It is not wired. Um, there's some little stitching on the outside, but I don't want you to think it's a wire. It's not a wire. See, not a wire. Okay, next. I think I think this is called washi tape, but I don't really know. Not saying it is that, not giving any promises or guarantees. Everything is as is, where is, just like if you were buying it at a garage sale. Okay, next, this is a holder for something, and it is falling out of the package. I guess you put whatever it is right here. Uh, it is curved, though, so I'm not sure. This is the backing, and you get a few backings with it, so some kind of a double hook system. Next, I've got a plaid scrunchie got lots of nice stretch to it. Beautiful spring colors. Okay, this says foil balloon. And here's what it looks like. think this is a sand mold. Now you could probably mold other things, but I'm thinking this is a sand mold. Sometimes hard to determine when you don't have hints of what stuff is. Next, I've got some potpourri, and it's also got one of these cute little balls in it that you put in your, um, you know, bowls on the coffee table. 
And the scent is eucalyptus. We'll fit in the back here. So. Okay, this says pain relief patch. I have not tried these. I do not endorse these. Do not promise these. I instead suggest a prayer. But nonetheless, it says in here that it contains 20 patches. I don't know how that's necessarily the case. I make no guarantees. All items are as is, where is, buyer beware. Okay. Next, I believe this is also for sand. But, you know, if you have a little one that maybe wants to help you with gardening, you might could use that too. Or this might even be good for like in an ice chest in the summer at the beach. I also have a similar one in yellow. It's not quite as deep. Okay, next I have one of these bottles of hand sanitizer. I had one of these a couple of weeks ago and somebody bought it. If nobody buys it, I will message back the lady who bought it two weeks ago to see if she wants to up her total to two. And maybe she's even watching right now. Okay, got a little candle holder. Uh, this may look metal. It's not metal. It's like a uh, acrylic melamine kind of a thing. I have a black koozie, and some of you can say, wait, there's no print. Well, the great thing about there not being a print is maybe you want to put a monogram. Maybe you want to embroider it. Um, so on a patch, you can make it your own or personalize it and then give it as a gift or have it to celebrate. I have these teeny tiny little beads. I think these are called seed beads. And I've got two packages of these, so they'll be $1 per package. This is by L'Oreal. It's called Sublime Bronze. It's apparently self-tanning towelettes. Once again, with any beauty item, I do not endorse it. I do not guarantee it. I say love the skin you are in. All skin colors are valid, even if you are as pitifully pale as I am. But for those who want to make other choices, the choice is yours to make. Okay, I've got a little cord here. Don't know what this is for or what this plugs into. I'm not sure. This has kind of a weird prong here and kind of a normal looking prong here. Next, with 4th of July coming up, you get a package of tons of these funny little mustaches in red and white and blue. You get the whole entire bulk pattern. For my gnome lovers, this is a thin piece of wood. I think it's called chip wood or chip board. It does have a pre-drilled hole in case you want to hang it or make it into some kind of an ornament. Um, not really sure what it's for. The carrot kind of looks Easter, but the apples kind of look harvest. I don't know. Maybe you're just a gnome lover or a crafter. It might be pretty on a wreath. Last week, I had lots and lots and lots of cookie cutters. So if you missed number four in the series of $1 premieres, go back and check it out. Um, I found this one after, and it's a house, or maybe it's an um, arrow pointing up. I do not know who this character is. I'm guessing he's from some cartoon or some video game, but it's a big set of um, cards 
Um, it comes with a roll, so I'm, and it's got holes punched here, so I'm guessing it's some kind of banner. I have a cute um, barn door looking switchblade cover. How great would this be for farmhouse decor, for a man cave, for maybe the outlet in your shed or your garage? I just think this is so cute. For my beach lovers, I've got this one. Lots of shades of sand and ocean with a pretty little starfish. I think this is basically going to fill up this drawer. If I can even get it to close. Yes, I can. And at some point, I may have to start redoing some drawers because you can see I'm slowly but surely working my way across the room. But as more and more items sell, um, the drawers are half empty, so at some point, I might have to reorganize them. I think I need to boost y'all up in order to be able to see into the next drawer. So let me boost y'all up for a minute. Okay, let's start with drawer number three. If you haven't already given me a thumbs up, please, oh please, it helps me ever so much with the YouTube algorithm. And also... If you are loving these videos, make sure you go back and check out the first four in the series. Now, I've got a big, huge birthday card. In case you think this is a small birthday card, here's a regular size birthday card. Regular size birthday card. I'm going to have some regular size ones after. But if you're looking for one of those huge cards that is the gift, here it is. And you'll see it is covered in plastic. It has a huge envelope. I'm not sure if you can see the blue part. This is the envelope right here. So it says, celebrate, bring on the confetti. And technically, bring on the confetti doesn't necessarily mean birthday. It could mean you're celebrating a graduation, celebrating a retirement, celebrating a promotion, celebrating that she said yes, celebrating um, a new life in the world, the birth of a baby, a um, we're expecting. So there's a lot of celebrations. This one does not actually say birthday. So therefore, if you have other things to celebrate, um, you absolutely can. So one of those, and you can see these are so big, they're like the size of a drawer. Okay, I've got two of those. Next, any mermaid fans out here? And you'll see this has silver. It has a holographic look to it. So if you like Ariel, if you uh, wish you could be part of that world, wish I could be part of that world. Okay, this one says, wishing you a truly magical day. And once again, it doesn't technically say birthday. So it could be a day where the kid was in the school play was in a choir competition, was going to take SATs or ACTs. <coughs> Pardon me. And I've got two of those. Now here is an actual birthday card and you'll see it goes this direction. It says awesome birthday club. And you can see that it shines with holographic images. And it's got a sporting theme. So whether for a boy or a girl, because some girls can play sports too. Um, it, on the inside, it says you're officially in. Happy birthday to the awesome birthday club. And I've got one, two of these cards. For those of you saying, well, that's a little bit much, a little big, a little showy, what else you got? Okay, well, in regular cards, 
I've got this nice understated. It is light blue with um, metallic lettering. On the inside, it says, May the nicest things that life can hold be yours on your birthday and always. And, of course, I'm including the envelope with it. Next, here's another regular card. Got a pretty uh, cake in a frame, and it says, What's wrong with this picture? And on the inside, we open it up, and the answer is, There's no ice cream with that cake. Have a great birthday. So this one would be especially great for like at an office or where you don't need something too personal. Speaking of personal, here is a personal one. It's a card of faith, which are sometimes hard to find. And yes, I absolutely will have cards of faith and items of faith because that's who I am. So it says, I thank God and the entire verses upon every remembrance of you. It is 1 Corinthians 1, 4. And on the inside, it has room to write your own personal message of why you thank God for that person, how you thank God for that person, and where you can give a loving testimony or tribute. Next, in case you are throwing a baby shower, I've got a baby word scramble, and you'll see this is a thick tear-off pad style where you just tear these off and give these to the guests to play a fun game. Also, I've got a baby shower bingo, and it's got all the instructions here. Once again, it's a tear-off pad. And last but not least, baby descriptions. And people get to fill it in. More fun activities for the baby shower because it's not just all opening up gifts. You got to entertain the people who show up. Next, I've got a container. I have no idea what it is really supposed to be for. It's a nice, generous size. See if I can open it. Okay, here it is. Um, it's kind of a translucent but black color. So maybe it's for crayons. Maybe you put some kind of jewelry in it or some craft project. I don't know, but nice, generous size. Okay, this is where we get to the oopsie part of the telecast. I just found one more two-pack of the uh, white erasers. So after, I'm going to go back and put those in the drawer with the other. I also found one more of the red ribbon with the gold. So I'm going to put that back in the drawer with the other one. Next, I've got these cute little toothpicks. And they have a pretty little present on them. Nice little bow. I also have these with a cap and tassel. Um, I'm not sure if these are to go in a uh, cupcake or maybe a plant. It's hard to tell. I'm going to leave them sealed. Uh, this one looks like a raccoon, which in some areas of the country they call a trash panda. This one looks like maybe a skunk. Uh, I've got owls and bunnies, so you get the entire container. Next, this looks like some kind of a lanyard holder. Because I see the carabiner and I see the ribbon. Uh, I believe this is some kind of a character. I don't know who it is. But maybe y'all in the chat do. Little statuette. Okay, next. I'm going to open this because I think this is for your car. 
because it looks really big and really plush. Oh, super duper plush. Yes, this is the kind that you use for those people who think of their cars as their babies. Um, <laughs> cars is transportation to me. Uh, but you'll be seeing that soon because I'm going to unleash another shame video. You've seen my purse shame. You've seen my home shame. You are soon going to see my car shame. But this for people who have uh, great cars that love their cars. I have a car with peeling paint um, because Toyota's pearl color um, peels. They have admitted it. The problem is to get it fixed, they won't fix or repaint any cars with a single dent or damage. And when you drive a 14-year-old car, there are dents and dings. So it's a catch-22. Do you want to pay thousands to have all those taken out to get a free paint job? Or are you just going to let it go and um, not do anything about it? So, just got one of those. Okay, next I found, oh, another hand sanitizer by Suave. Once again, I'm going to have to put this in the drawer it goes with. Next, do you have issues with closet organization? Well, this is a hanger that is only going to take up one little spot, but you can hang items downward. And you're saying, why would you want to hang items downward? You wouldn't really see what's underneath. Well, this is great if you know what it is. Like, for instance, I use one of these with turtlenecks. And then I'll have a red, green, blue, white, uh, tan. And I just go to my hanging rack of turtlenecks and then pull the right one out. So it's a great space saver. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, and I get a whole package of ten. So I have a total of sixteen available. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, it was in the package, so I'm going to have to sell it. Uh, wouldn't have bought these on purpose. Okay, um, for those of you who like Halloween or this kind of looks like the rock band Kiss, um, there are these little dolls, I guess. Um, let's see if I can open them to show y'all. They are kind of scary, but if you like Halloween, oh, and they have bells. I guess that makes them less scary. And uh, here's the little hanger. It's this kind of clear filament. Um, or you might could put these around a bottle or something. But this is going to be what they look like. But it looks like there are four types. And it looks like I have two of each type. So, I guess we'll do it by the color of the dress. So, this one has a purple dress. That's kind of big heads. All right. Then, secondly, this one has an orange dress. This one has a green dress. And this one has a white dress. Let me get the other ones. Boy, you just cannot pick what is in a mystery box. Sometimes it is stuff you are excited about and sometimes not. So here's a duplicate of the one with the white, the duplicate of the one with the green, who seems to be, I don't know, yelling, screaming, singing, uh, the duplicate of the one in purple, and here's the duplicate of the one in um, orange. Okay, next I've got this cute little set of cards. Look how thick they are. And it looks like they are perforated, so I'm guessing they're place cards. 
Okay, I've got this little keeper container and it opens this way. Great if you have like small beading or something where you don't want to open the whole thing and it, be afraid the whole lid's going to fall open and beads are going to be running everywhere. I've got a hand sanitizer on a fob. Great for your gear shift. Start to run out of stuff. Okay, next I've got a bag of pedigree filet mignon choice cuts in gravy. And for those of you who care about the best buy date, it is June 2nd of 25. Not 24. No, no, no. 25. Okay, I've got a bag of eraser caps. And I thought I'd had one of those in a previous video, but I don't think that I could possibly find it to put it together with those. Next, I've got this little drain cover. And I think I showed one of these in a previous video as well. I may need to go back through the drawers. So if you want multiples of the eraser caps, let me know and I'll look through the other drawers. If you want multiples of this drain cover, let me know and I'll look through the other drawers. I use these in both my bathroom and my kitchen. In the bathroom, it's great because these little, um, and this is made of um, silicone, so if you step on it, it doesn't hurt. Um, it catches the hairs instead of going down the drain. And in the kitchen, it's great because it catches all the pasta and the noodles and the other stuff from going down the drain. So, absolutely excellent. And I am trying, Carla, to go a whole hour, but I'm starting to run out of stuff. Okay, I'm not sure if you know what these are, but these are rose petals. Um, I'm not sure if you can see. There are a whole bunch stacked here. I'm guessing it's probably... 50. So if you want to scatter some roses on your bed for your anniversary or leading a little path to a present on a table for dinner, um, here in a nice compact fashion is some beautiful rose petals and these aren't going to turn or fade or wilt like real rose petals will. Next, I have some Everly Pomegranate Berry Hydration Drink Mix, naturally sweetened and sugar-free. And I hate to say it, but I think I'm starting to run out of stuff for today's episode. So... I am going to say les bon temps rouler, let the good times roll, roll in your life, roll in your heart, roll in your soul, and hopefully roll you back to next Sunday's telecast where I will finish this drawer and I will start on the next drawers up because I've got a five drawer tower here, so there's plenty of more space. Also, remember, I've got auctions. Friday and Saturday at 7, Monday and Tuesday at 7, and look at my Buy It Now list of videos. Lots more at the $1 price point, as well as specialty videos where I show other great items that you can buy without having to bid or wait for a countdown. So, may God bless you. Thank you so much for your purchases. Take a look at these two videos on the screen now to watch right after this. Bye-bye.